What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people been asking me to speak on that seven-year-old girl who ended up losing her life due to gun violence in Chicago. Uh, that's a very sad situation. That shit kind of left me crazy to see some shit happen like that. Uh, it just lets you know that it can go down anyway, anywhere, any way, anyhow. It ain't really no respect no more with no young people. Nobody really believes in giving people a pass anymore. I don't understand what would push a person to want to shoot in the car where it's a kid inside of the car. And then you had a drive through. You had a place where it's civilians, regular citizens are at. Motherfuckers are terrorizing regular people. This ain't what the game was meant for. I don't really understand what's going on. That's how I can tell. This had to be some young shit involved. But it is things about this case that can of threw me off. A lot of people wanted me to take it to the board. I won't be able to do that. It just happened. You know, I didn't have time to sit with the evidence and everything. So I'll give you a quick perspective of it if you want that. Because in my opinion, this is sickening. You know, it ain't no honor among thieves no more. Back in the day, you used to get violated if you did something to a kid or a woman. Nowadays, niggas is getting celebrated for hurting a kid or a woman. And I don't really understand that. To shoot inside of a car in a drive through Now, these are things that kind of concern me, to be honest with you. So, we're going to speak on it. First off, um, it was a shooting at a McDonald's, a public place, which means a lot of people are there to get food, you know. So, for someone to drill you there, they are taking a risk, taking a chance. But we have seen motherfuckers get drilled at McDonald's and shit. But you are taking a chance to want to do that, especially knowing that there's security cameras and everything out of there. You will be identified. Your license plate number is probably going to get captured. So, that lets me know that this was probably personal, in my opinion. This person really had a dislike for maybe that young girl's father, you know. Um, next thing that I noticed is they shot in the car with a kid in that car. I'm not sure if anyone noticed, but at a drive through, you know, I'm pretty sure you can see through the car. You guys are sitting close to each other in cars. The cars are stationary. You can tell that it's another body in the car, no matter how dark the fucking tents are. They might not notice it was a kid, but you should have noticed it was someone else in the car. Then another thing I noticed that concerned me is an employee at that McDonald's spoke with the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper and said that two people hopped out of a car that was gray and got to firing, blicking at that car. Blick, 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 blick. Blicking at that car with that guy and his daughter in that car. That allows me, that led me to believe that maybe they identified who exactly who was in our car. This wasn't a rap piss, uh, speed off type of shit. This seemed like a attempt to hit if you ask me maybe someone was following this guy maybe he got spotted at a mcdonald's i'm not sure what he did in his past if he did anything uh, it could be a case of mistaken identity but in my opinion for someone to hop out of a car you know and blatantly fire at your car that's in the drive through at a mcdonald's this is like a message type of thing this is the center message you know uh, this is very sad, too. I can't believe that we're getting to this point where we don't give a fuck if it's kids in the car anymore. I want to tell you something, too. To the people who did this, too, if it's anybody who's feeding these people, y'all sick in the head, you know? If it's people out here giving them room and board and shit like that, you're sick in the head. These motherfuckers did something to a shorty. Get a ass up. On some real shit. Get a ass up. Ain't no need for the ass to be out here, man. If you heartless like that, then anything can happen. Now, I'm not saying you can't repent. Everybody get an opportunity to right their wrongs, you know. And I think whoever did this shit gonna have to right their wrongs if they want to get up there and them gates up there, you ask me. Because you're only going to get up there one way. And it depends on how you live when you're down here on earth. You know, you out here blicking down shorties and killing shorties. You're not going to get in heaven, bro. You know, you got kids and a baby mama, bro. When they all die, they gonna be in heaven. The ops who make it to heaven gonna be up there playing with your kids, man, hollering at your baby mama and shit like that because you ain't gonna be able to get up there because you did all that dirty shit with you down here. I don't think a lot of people looking at this. This is sad event that somebody robbed that young lady of her life. I'm talking about motherfucking sticker. A motherfucker walked up on her. Give me your life, basically, you know. To rob that young lady, man, to not give that young lady an opportunity to go to prom have kids, anything like that. That shit hurts my heart, and I don't understand what went on with that one, but I can tell you that. 
this looked like an assassination to me. I'm not sure exactly what her father done done or who he done let borrow that car that he was in, but this doesn't seem like a mistake to me. This seemed like, you know, a targeted hit right here. Now, sometimes mistaken identity can happen out here in Chirac. Everybody look alike, you know, but... I'm not going to lie, this is a sad situation, and I don't feel good about some young punks robbing that young lady of her life. It's the only truth. Blech.